Methane is the major component of natural gas, so it's widely used as a heating fuel, and it is widely used for electricity generation. And these activities release methane to the atmosphere accidentally, and they also are major sources of CO2 to the atmosphere. However, their total burden on the atmosphere of all different pollutants and greenhouse gases is lower than if we were using, say, coal. Uh, the perfect might be the enemy of the good. You might be perfect to not use methane at all, but its use reduces other forms of pollution. Methane is far less abundant than carbon dioxide. It's roughly one part in 300 of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but it's much more potent molecule for molecule as a greenhouse gas. When you balance out their differences in concentration and their differences in the amount of light that they absorb, methane is uh, roughly a third as powerful as CO2 in warming the Earth's atmosphere. Methane is generated by two primary processes metabolic activity of microbial organisms, so life, and thermal breakdown of buried organic matter, geological processes. They're both influenced by natural processes and by man-made processes. Natural processes would include wetlands, marshes, uh, emitting methane from microbial activity in their water-saturated soils. Man-made processes of the same sort would include rice paddies, agricultural feed, uh, lots, things like this. The notion of removing greenhouse gases from the atmosphere is very much on people's minds because of efforts to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There really isn't any effort underway at a large scale to remove methane from the atmosphere, primarily because it already has a short lifetime in the atmosphere, only about a decade. So anything that we engineered to try and tweak its uh, oxidation chemistry in air would uh, be a big undertaking, and in the end, you would be addressing a problem that will, in a sense, solve itself. Once you've shut off the tap, the methane is going to go away. Uh, eating meat, that's one of the simple things that we do that promotes methane emission because it increases the number of beef cattle that are produced, and they're a large methane source. In the case of petroleum and natural gas, we vent methane to the atmosphere through drilling, through flaring off of methane at the sites of uh, like oil well sites, through transportation, and at the site point of use. So Lisa Canyon is a good example of a leak of methane to the atmosphere from part of the transportation and storage network of methane. It isn't exactly where the methane was being generated, it isn't exactly where it was being used, but it's in the network of pipes and reservoirs that connect the, the production and use endpoints.